a bit of a different kind of video because I'm actually replacing a because I'm actually replacing my Fluval 404 filter on my wife's 75 gallon tank and I'm replacing it with uh, money's always an issue for us and when this filter went down um, I, I tried to find the cheapest filter that I could and uh, I found an Aquaflow on Amazon for uh, 55 bucks and while it's probably not going to be the, the most wonderful filter that money can buy I'm hoping that it will suffice now I have already pulled out ugh, my Fluval 404 I have taken all of the biomedia that I could out of the 404. Huh. That's interesting. This biomedia and this, the bio balls in this one float. <laughs> uh, that's not good. I don't know how I'm going to resolve that issue. Um, anytime that you change a canister filter out you're likely to run into all kinds of unexpected issues and it can be frustrating for all of us so don't feel like you're the lone ranger when you uh, suddenly are faced with the uh, issues that you never expected to have before you know it's just it's just part and parcel of the whole of the whole thing and you just kind of have to go with the flow <clears throat> this instance I'm going to basically have to put this down and make sure that that lid stays on top now this water in this filter you can't really see it is pretty murky because what I've done is replaced all of the uh, the water that is in here came out of my old filter because of all the muck and murk that's in it is also where a lot of the bacteria is is established and when you do one of these uh, canister filters you have basically got about an hour before you have to get it back running flowing again so that the bio the bacteria, the bio filter part doesn't die. So you're kind of under the gun when you're trying to get these things back together because otherwise what you're going to be doing is dumping a bunch of dead bacteria back into your tank, which is never a good idea. And uh, so basically, whew, that's going to be close. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get that up all the way I need to or not. It's always one of the issues when you're putting a new unit together. Okay, and I expect this to overflow. And of course it is. I didn't expect it to overflow quite that much, but it is. careful not to destroy the clips because they are critical for the operation of the unit oh great <laughs> pretty much need to be ready for all things to go wrong because that's usually how these things go they basically always go wrong it's our job as hobbyists to do our best to make them go right. Okay, so 
Uh, have plenty of towels. Have plenty of tools on hand. And in this case, I'm probably very much going to need to figure out some new way to get this plugged in. That's going to be an issue. It is not going to be tall enough. I may well have to uh, come up with a new way of plugging this in. No, I don't like that. Okay, so basically when you've got a new canister filter to install, you're going to have uh, need a towel to wipe up water because it's going to come from everywhere places you never would have believed and it can very well leak on you and cause even more water flow issues so always try to be ready for those kinds of issues to occur yeah this tank is Okay, so basically what we're going to have is our overflow material that is going to allow the water to come out of the tank. <coughs> and these are always various kinds of Devices. Looks like this one has an interesting uh, little uh, anti anti leak device, so that you won't end up with a bad overflow okay I believe that that cap comes off and that this goes on and that this is some kind of overflow float okay and now we need the okay, we've got the J bend now we need our uh, I guess this needs to go this way and this needs to go that way and we need to have that have this and it onto it. So basically we're going to end up with a setup that's going to look something like like this in the uh, actual tank and that's going to give us I yeah, don't need this one. Leave that one off. And add that one. And then we're going to end up with something along the lines of this.
Okay. Potentially like that. And then we're going to end up with uh, our outtake. Our inflow device. Looks like this one's come with a spray bar. And usually the writing on these things is next to useless. Most people will tell you to just forego even worrying about the the writing and just uh, give it what for when you're trying to uh, decide how you're going to uh, okay this is the end that is capped and This is the end that will come out. So basically we want this thing to face in a direction like this. And the stickers to go like that. And for this to be That's not going to work either. It's uh, it's always kind of a uh, catch as catch can thing setting one of these up. Like I say, the uh, I finally have this thing operational. I had to uh, raise it up. I had to get it up off the floor to make it long enough to connect to my power supply up there, my much overused power supply, unfortunately. But I did I did have to make those changes. Uh, Let's see, we can probably get a little closer here and look at the actual operation of the unit itself. It's not putting out a whole lot of water. It's, it's not near the uh, amount of flow that was associated with my Fluval 404 but it is pushing some water around the tank and as you can see the tank water has gotten quite a bit uh, <sighs> there's more mom in the water because it's being forced through the filters in this unit and while this is not the optimal unit probably for this operation it is surely solving a problem with my 404 breaking down and uh, like I said you have to be very uh, time conscious when you're doing this because you can uh, kill all the bacteria in the filter and that will uh, adversely affect your fish tank when uh, all that uh, dead bacteria is pumped out into the tank and not to mention not having live bacteria um, there were three media trays in this and each one had a, uh, a fiber bottom so that the water would indeed have to flow through yet another uh, mechanical filter before it got to the bio filter, the uh, bacteria media. And so I have used most of the filter media that was already in my Fluval 404 because it is bioactive. It has been running for a long time in this tank and 
has, has uh, of course, developed a BioWare. So I reinstalled it into the new, uh, mixed with the new filter media that came with it. It came with uh, a, a tray of bio balls and it came with a, a tray of uh, ceramic rings, which surprised me for the price that it actually came with as much filter media as it did. And of course it came with the uh, obligatory charcoal bag but uh, I'm not a big fan of charcoal unless I'm using it to remove medications from the water in a tank. Uh, charcoal is just basically a, an excuse for you to run down and spend more money at the pet store over and over and over again without... I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some positives to having charcoal in a media tray. It will polish the water somewhat. It will act as a biomedium itself eventually when all the pores of the charcoal have absorbed all they're going to absorb out of the water. And if you're starting a brand new tank, then yes, it's probably a good idea because it will, it will pull some of the ammonia and out of the water itself. But overall, I'm not a big fan of charcoal. So I did not install it and in in replacing it instead with more uh, ceramic rings and uh, uh, mechanical pads that I knew were full of bioactive material. So basically uh, this thing is up and running once again. And it's always a headache. It's never going to be easy. I mean sometimes they're easy. Sometimes you plug and play and it works like crazy but usually you have to fight fight getting it uh, primed so that the water will flow you have to fight figuring out which hose is which um, you have to fight the hoses as far as being uh, having any slack in them which allows air pockets to develop it's it's always a uh, it's always a little bit of give and take when you're setting up a new canister filter, but once you've got it set up and running and you're uh, sure that it is not leaking, you may well have a functioning product for many years to come. So it's always a good idea to replace something. And this time we went with price instead of any of all the other factors besides people not ranting and raving about what a piece of junk it was. The, the research that I was looking for was that it did function, and it does function. It's not a whole lot of flow, but it's enough flow that rainbow, rainbows in a tank will be able to make use of it, and it will create a circulation in the tank to bring the, bring the debris that's loose in the water back to the filter itself. So it should serve its purpose. So good luck, YouTube.